Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about what is motion study, motion study principles. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. What is motion study? Motion study principles, micro motion study. What is motion study? Motion study is a systematic way of determining the best method of doing the work by scrutinizing the motions made by the worker or the machine. As per Frank and Gilbert, it is the science of eliminating the wastefulness due to unnecessary motions. The main aim of motion study is to find the scheme of least wastage of labor. Subsequently, the scope of motion study was enlarged and it was named as method study. The method of study can also be defined as systematic recording and critical examination of existing and proposed ways of doing work as a means of developing and applying easier and more effective method and thereby reducing cost. Method study is a technique which includes the standardization of equipment, method and working conditions and training of the operator to follow the standard method. Motion study principles Eliminate unnecessary motions Combine activities Reduce fatigue Improve the arrangement of the workplace Improve the design of tools and equipment The guidelines are divided into three categories Principles for use of the body Principles for arrangement of the workplace Principles for the design of tools and equipment Principles for use of the body Two hands should begin and complete their movements at the same time Two hands should not be idle at the same time except periods of rest Arms motion should be symmetrical in opposite directions and simultaneous Hand and body motions should be made at the lowest classification Momentum should be applied to help the worker but should be reduced to a minimum whenever it has to be overcome by muscular effort. Continuous curve movements are to be preferred to straight line motions involving sudden and sharp changes in direction. Ballistic free swinging movements are faster, easier and more accurate than restricted or controlled movements. Rhythm is essential to the smooth and automatic performance of a repetitive operation. Work should be arranged so that eye movements are confined to a comfortable area without the need for frequent changes of focus. Principles for arrangement of the workplace Definite and fixed stations should be provided for all tools and materials to permit habit formation. Tools and materials should be pre-positioned to reduce searching. Gravity feed bins and containers should be used to deliver the materials as close to the point of use as possible. Tools, materials and control should be located within the maximum working area and near to the worker as possible. Materials and tools should be arranged to permit the best sequence of motions. Drop deliveries or ejectors should be used wherever possible so that the operative does not have to use his or her hands to dispose of the finished work. Provision should be made for adequate lighting and a chair of the type and height to permit good posture should be provided. The height of the workplace and seat should be arranged to allow alternate standing and sitting. The color of the workplace should contrast with that of the work and thus reduce eye fatigue. Principles for the design of tools and equipment The hand should be relieved of all work of holding the workpiece where this can be done by a jig, fixture or foot operated device. Two or more tools should be combined wherever possible. Where each finger performs some specific movement as in typewriting, the load should be distributed in accordance with the inherent capacities of the fingers. Handle should be designed so that much more hand surface can contact with the handle. Necessary when considerable force has to be used on the handle. Perform multiple operations simultaneously rather than sequently. Levers, crossbars and 
handwheel should be so placed that the operative can use them with the least change in body position and the greatest mechanical advantage mechanize or automate manual operations if economically and technically feasible analysis of tear blicks tear blicks are 18 kinds of elemental motions used in the study of motion economy in the workplace search find select grasp hold transport loaded transport empty position assemble use disassemble inspect preposition release load unavoidable delay avoidable delay plan and rest a workplace task is analyzed by recording each of the turbulent units for a process with the result used for optimization of manual labor by eliminating unneeded movements break jobs down into basic elements and base improvements on an analysis of these basic elements by eliminating combining or rearranging them analysis of turbulence some common turbulence are search implies hunting for an item with the hands and or the eyes select means to choose from a group of objects grasp means to take hold of an object hold refers to retention of an object after it has been grasped transport load means movement of an object after hold release load means to deposit the object transport empty receiving an object with an empty hand now called reach some other turbulence are inspect position plan rest and delay micro motion study it is a study of elements of an operation with the help of high speed movie camera in order to eliminate the unnecessary motions involved in the operation and balancing the necessary motions use of motion picture and slow motion to study motions that otherwise would be too rapid to analyze use of the camera and slow motion replay enables analysts to study motions that would otherwise be too rapid to see provide a permanent record that can be referred to not only for training workers and analysts but also for setting job disputes involving work methods cost of micro motion study limits its use to repetitive activities charts operation name symbol description motion study analysts often use charts as tools for analyzing and recording motion studies some commonly used charts are activity charts process charts and simo chart the flow of work and the type of activity can be shown in a diagrammatic fashion by flow process charts the first six symbols are basic symbols and the last two combined symbols the combined are used to represent the combined activities the outer symbol represents major activity thank you for watching for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when i post a new presentation bye have a good day